Okay, now, I think the dodo bird is, is under a, a, some type of um, brain fart. Something's going on, but we all know that's happening. Okay, first, let's talk about the wife. Right? Um, you saw the 2023 tax return, so she is still there. Um, as of five days ago, she posted this from Red Feather Leaks, which is where the house is at, saying, has anyone ventured out to know the road conditions yet? I mean, if the husband is there, I think the husband will know and tell her mm, what the road conditions were. But I guess he wasn't there, right? Um, then she made a post last year on May 31st. And, and, and listen, just read this. Leaking roof. Is there anyone up here that can take a look at a leak in a roof for a client of mine? Now, who's into construction that says they are master tradesmen and they, they fix houses, they build houses, blah, 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 blah. Yet, um, she's online... <coughs> Asking other people for help. Okay, and there's a lot of messages. Okay, so that right there is telling us from five days ago, she's there, right? So something happened, maybe he intercepted the mail, but in the next round, it'll get her. So it is irrelevant. So now, with that being said about getting to anyone, right? All of you tyrants are under the impression that what, when, when things are exposed, that it's for you. It's not for you. What was for you when we did the YouTube video, we told you that we're gonna step up. That was for you. These videos that we do is for you. But when it goes into the real world, that's not for you anymore. You're irrelevant. You are nothing. We don't care about what you think, how you feel. We don't care if you think it's going to work or not work. It, it, it's irrelevant because what we do is share. That's it. No more, no less. We just share what you do online. We cannot control how other people think it will take anything. But that's not going to stop us from sharing. So when the dodo bird makes a comment and says, well, I don't live there anymore. Despite, you know, this comment saying five days ago, we'll go check on the road. And despite the tax return saying that the house is still there. And despite the photos that he just corroborated for us in regards to where the location is at. Because if you look at these pictures with his, and that is telling us where exactly is at. Thank you. So we all told you, we know what we're doing. But at the end of the day, all we do is share. So if you don't even live there no more, then why comment on it? Why say anything about it? But we're going to do it. We're going to blanket the whole fucking area. So, you know that flyer that you had? Yeah, think about that. And it's still not everywhere. The stores, it's, it's a small town anyway. So, and we don't care if you care or not. It, it, honestly, we don't care. Because it's not for you. It's for the people around you to know who you are. So, it's irrelevant because we already know you don't care. We know that because you're still doing it. So, okay. Why are you still coming on saying you don't care? If someone truly don't fucking care, then that's it. I mean, you leave it alone. But just to let you know, it's going to happen. Whether you care or not, we can share what you do publicly. Everyone in that area will know what you did. Maybe they'll post it in the fucking library. Maybe we'll do like, here, can you hang this up on the library? <laughs> Maybe that's interesting. That's interesting. But anyway, so that's what's going to happen. In that area, wherever you lived throughout your fucking life, they all going to know. All of them, whether you live there or not, even if you thought about living there, and we find out that's where you thought you were going to live at, we're going to send it there also. So, <clears throat> I mean, you can't stop it. You can't. You make up these little names and all that, but you haven't done anything. What have you done? What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> You're sitting there, Anthony Lopez, Anthony Xavier Lopez, and Samantha, and blah, 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 and making up these fucking screen names, but what have you done? We showed y'all what we do. <laughs> you can see there. So, hey, hey, don't worry. And when they see that you are online talking about people jerking off to your daughter's pictures, that this is the visual you're getting people, you're going to be thinking a little bit different about you because why would you be online talking about people jerking off to your kids? This is what you're telling people. This is what your daughter is going to see in the future, her daddy online talking about people masturbating to her picture. Mind you, you're the one that told everyone it was your kids. See, you did this. This is what you did with your kids. But, yeah, they're going to know that else as well. It's going to be a nice a nice one. It's going to be a nice hefty one. Okay? And, guess what? The videos are labeled now. So, we don't have to... We just tell them, go to YouTube and search for this at me. And guess what? That's all. That's YouTube. You cannot say it's a dangerous link. You can't say that YouTube is dangerous. So, they're going to see everything you have done. They're going to hear it from your own mouth. We don't have to say shit. So, when you sit there and say, well, all I have to do is show them what you do, 
That's irrelevant of what we do. It's your action that they're going to see. So when you tell them, no, I didn't say that, they're going to know you did. So you're going to have to fess up or look like a liar. But at the end of the day, it's going to clearly state, no matter what the accusation he has on someone else, pay attention to his own actions. His actions has nothing to do with the other person. His actions of infidelity is him. He did that. He confessed to it. He admitted to it. So don't worry about the other person. Question him on his actions and what he did and how he almost killed his baby. Alex, we could probably just send a fucking card saying, do you want to know about this person? Go to YouTube, type it in, and you'll be going to surprise on what you're going to hear. Just that alone, and they go look at it, you're done. You are done. And what are you going to do to us? What? What are you going to do to us? What are you going to do to Anthony Xavier Lopez? What are you going to do? What are you prepared to do? Except talk shit. What are you prepared to do? Nothing. So it's going to happen. It's already happening. So it, it, it's forever. You counter, we counter. It's going to be a forever thing for years and years and years to come. So every time you say something stupid and ignorant, that is going to go on and it's going to be mailed out. So they can see what you, how you're conversing. They want to see, you know, how you're progressing on the internet world. That's what we do. We share. We don't care what happens after that. We really don't care what happens after that. Because we did our part in informing and in sharing. That's it. It's done like that. It's, it's that. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. So, yeah, everyone will know. So it will get to her. You're intercepting shit, but it will eventually get to her. If it's not because of us sharing public information, it will be because of the police contacting her because you're putting your kids into a situation where the police officers should be checking on the kids and letting the mother know what is transpiring. That's it. That is it. So, strap in, bitch. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, just, it's just gonna happen. So, if you don't live there anymore, then you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Right? But that's not the only location. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, yeah. That's it, Dodo. Nothing you can say or do. You can try to put up a smear or whatever. Everyone truly knows what you're about. The only ones that are gravitating to you are the ones that we exposed. So of course they're going to gravitate to you and you are just like a, a, a pile of shit that attracts all these flies. You even have shit stained Lou. You are his life and supporting him. The person that's called people racist words. Um, supported News Not Houston. Excuse the way fucking disgusting ways. Wish old people to be to die. I mean, he was friends with a fucking guy that was molesting um, continuously a child under 13. This is who you surrounded yourself with. This is who you are actually speaking to. This is the person that you are actually on the fucking damn, on alive with, engaging with, giving hearts to. That's you. You did that. You did that. What do you say about us? That we say we're going to share with anyone? We don't care who we share it with? Okay. But look what you're doing. You are actually interacting with someone that is a fucking damn poster child for support on pedophiles. Remember that. Um, Richard. Molesting children under 13 continuously. He was friends with him. Moderator hung out with him. Did fucking damn audits with him. Gave him a fucking damn a wrench. Using that Houston. Explained away his fucking damn sexual assault on his children. And said that people made up things. And excused it away. Excused it away. He's on the toilet shitting. Shitting and plopping shit all over like a disgusting fucking mule. Well this is what I got to say to you. <clears throat> yep, that's right. Good old Salty Rant's making you something from scratch. I hear you like chocolate cake as well. And this is who you have on your side. <laughs> Cheering you. <laughs> so listen, listen. When they all hear about your relationship with Lou, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a different story. Yeah? But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be like he's supporting this person that 13 years old continuously. Imagine what people are gonna be thinking. This is your friend, and you cannot deny it because you made him a thing, a, a, a wrench. But worse yet, you were on his channel, speaking to him, hanging out with him by his line. You gave us the best gift of them all. <laughs> So, just picture this in the video. 
Lou making all these racist comments. Lou shitting on the toilet with your face up there. And his shitting on the toilet, making all these noise and farting. Wishing the old lady to drop dead. Wishing everyone and happy about people dying. Um, hanging out with a, a, a pedophile that continuously um, molested a child under 13. Um, excuse another molester that molested his own children. Was with Rick Crude with the Nazi flag and all that. He was part of all that. And you knew about it and you still went with him. So how can you tell someone else? Look at We The People Time Wars and, and, and about Mouse and all that. When you have nothing to correlate except that one comment. But with you, this you are actually engaging and speaking to him. You gave us... How can you fuck... I mean, that's like the biggest two-faced of them all. You, that, there's nothing more. That's it. That is what they're going to see. That's going to be the picture there. We're telling you how it's going to read out. And you cannot deny it. Because when they see the video, they're going to see everything is truthful. There's no defamation. Defamation only happens if there's a lie. There's no lie. You say, oh, it's a fake dog about the killing a fake dog. Whether it's fake or not, we said that you threatened to kill a dog. Did that happen, yes or no? Yes, it did. If you left out the part that was fake, that's on you. We are giving them what you say. You cannot say that we fabricated something about a dog when you actually came out and said, I'm going to kill your dog. There's no if, ands, or buts. It's not mixed words. If I see your dog, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to bury it. We're going to avoid second definitions this time. Okay. And we're going to go with direct statements. Shiva, if your dog ever winds up in my yard, by first definition, I will shoot it. And by first definition, I will bury it in my backyard. You like that? No more second definitions, right? I'm not playing your definition game this time. I'm just telling you, if your dog winds up in my yard ever, I will shoot and bury it in my backyard. And if I happen to see someone chasing their dog in my backyard in a red coat, I will shoot and bury that in my backyard too. How you like me now? Yeah, well, this time I'm saying it for real, for real. Like, if your dog winds up in my yard, first definition, not second definition. Okay, I'm not talking about moving it rapidly in a different direction this time. Okay, I'm talking about dispatching it to death. Okay, if that dog's in my yard, it's done. It's done, Shiva. Very forceful, very serious. So now you're going to tell people it was a fake dog. The audience didn't think that. So there's nothing, not one thing that we stated that was false. You're saying that... Where we said that you were going to come to beat us up or anything like that. Um, did you or did you not say, when I, if I ever see you, I'm going to slap the shit out of you? Did you or did you not say that? So, say what you want, fucking clown, but if I ever fucking see you in person, bro, I will smack the living shit out of you in real life. You realize that? And if you don't fucking believe me, dude, just know that eventually, I might get lucky. So, beating someone up, slapping them is the same shit. So, did we say anything wrong there? No. Everything that we stated is what you state verbatim. Now, this is what we told all of you. If there's a hidden meaning behind what you say, no one is psychic. So, if you are online playing a game and trying to make people believe something, then guess what? It worked because you got people to believe it. You didn't say it was a joke. You didn't say anything. You let it be. So, we're going to quote you on that. We're going to quote you on what you said. Ha, 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 ha. Like, so there you go so bird there's nothing you can prove about defamation in any scenario in any because everything that we stated was you what you said yeah i mean that's 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 that <laughs> you want to say you don't want to say you took your penis out you don't want that gave up about the shower which no one was even talking about <laughs> we were talking about the penis and you gave up the shower scene i mean you that's that's what we tell your people let them talk he just threw it out there. Oh, he's going to talk about the beanie shower scene. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, let's get this. It's interesting. Did y'all notice that we stopped chatting? <laughs> we, we stopped asking questions. We were like, let him talk, let him talk. <laughs> it was so good. It was, it was so perfect. So, yeah, yeah. So that's it, people. <laughs> Fuck up. Do something, bitch. Look what we're going to do. Remember, we're going to leave it off again. You, Lou, Richard and david all cronies and you supported that because you still engaged the person that you knew was about that because you quoted in another video of ours about us putting out the clip about him being a racist and all that so you heard it 
but you still went inside with him. You cannot walk away from that, boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> now, we left the best part till the end. We're gonna tell you how much of a fucking loser father he is. Okay, despite she had to look for people to fix roofs, blah, 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 blah. And the car got stuck in the snow and another guy had to come. She, she said, what's stuck? I feel terrible for not grabbing a name. However, I wanted to really thank the amazing gentleman that stopped at Ramona Lake to help push our stuck car out of a snowbank. We couldn't have done it alone. And I have to say, he was so happy and nice. Need more men like you in this world. Thank you. Right? Now, bird, 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 shh. Before you go on to say that we meant you and her, because let's say that that is the situation. You little bitch that you couldn't help your fucking damn wife that you had to flex someone over. But I don't think that really happened. Because three days before she got stuck, look what she said. Rhodes, I am not trying to be repetitive. My friend just drove up from Collins. She said people are spinning out and sliding down McNay. Please be careful. So her friend was there visiting. So it was her and her friend. That's what most of us would interpret, right? So, yeah, yeah, that's the, the, the loser couldn't even help his fucking wife out of a trench. Another man, which she was wishing <laughs> there were more men like her. But, you know, Dodo Bird was busy in his private settings. <coughs> and so without all that, the bum almost killed this baby. Okay, This is what she had to put up. Hello, redacted here. I was wondering if there was anyone interested in taking on cleaning a house in Livermore once a month. My vehicle broke down and I'm a week away from having my baby, so I don't have the means at the moment. Please message me for more information or details. So, she's due in a couple of weeks and she has to go and ask people to help her clean. Now, with that being said, she did mention something about an agency. So, maybe she's a cleaner or she has a... No, she's a cleaner because if 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 she had an agency of people doing the cleaning, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, she wouldn't have to have mentioned that her car broke down and she cannot go. So either it's her home home or it's um, a place that she cleans. But at the end, it's irrelevant because she had to seek someone else to do her the solid. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll leave you. All, we'll, we'll leave you with that. Fucking loser. Your kids. Anyway, there's a there's a lot more. Bird, you know, we can, we can go down the list. But anyway, yeah, that's it. And, 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 and lastly, for the officials, listen, listen here. Just want to let you know that Mr. Thayer gave us permission. He told us to do it. Here you go. So, again, you know, make sure that when you send your flyers out, you send them to my parents' neighbors, send them to Livermore, send them to Redfeather Lakes, and then definitely send them to my neighbors. We, we good on that? We good on that? Bet you won't. Bet you won't. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna blanket the whole fucking area. Ta-da!